Hello students, time for another gizmo. This one that we're going to be doing today is called Cat and Mouse, Modeling with Linear Systems. It's the metric version. And the easiest way to get that, if you click on your class, chances are I've already added it to your class over here. Uh, if not, you can always go to the Find Gizmos, and we type in the word cat, and we're just going to click on Cat and Mouse, Modeling with Linear Systems, the metric one. And then we'll click to launch the gizmo. So here it is. Uh, as always, we want to go under the lesson info and we'll pick one of these student exploration sheets, the PDF version, the Word, or the Google Doc. And here it is. And what this does is this just tells us um, a little bit about how to warm up. We've got activity A and we've also got activity B, which we're going to complete. If you are a level one student, then you'll also be doing the extension using algebra. So level two, three students do activities A and B, and level one would complete all of that, including the extension. So this one is very straightforward. Um, we've got a cat, we've got a mouse, and we wanna see whether the cat can actually catch the mouse. So this is how it's just set up when you first get started and what you do is you write uh, you click on the the simulate and when you do that you can see that the cat is chasing the mouse will the mouse get there yep and you can see the cat hit right there so uh, what you do for this one we'll reset it uh, you just change these sliders you can change how much of a head start the mouse gets you can also change the speed of the mouse notice that when I change either of these something on the graph is changing, either the position that we're starting or the slope of the graph. And we can also do the same thing and we can change the speed of the cat. So when we do this and we change some of the parameters by using these sliders, then we just hit simulate again. And this time we have a different outcome. The cat actually has gotten the mouse. So the other thing that you can do is you click on the table over here and then you get a list of the data from running that simulation. So this tab controls uh, where you see all the data in the table. And then this tab over here is the actual controls. On this side, we have the graph in real time so we can reset it and run the simulation again. If you wanted to kind of, it's almost like a little cheat sheet over here. I'm not gonna do it, but if you click this, when you have the sliders over here in different positions, it will let you know whether the cat catches the mouse or not. Okay, so be sure to record all of your answers and your data on the student exploration sheet. Remember, activities A and B for level two and level three. And then for level one, you're gonna complete the whole thing, which is activities A and B, and also the extension, which is using algebra. So that's it, this one's very straightforward, and I will see you in class.